Hello everyone, in today's Command Burst DCS we're going to be checking out the Gazelle Helicopter. Uh, the Gazelle is basically a lightweight scout helicopter with a little bit of anti-tank capability. In uh, the DCS world we have a pretty good variety of different things that we can do with it. One of the things that makes it very, very challenging in DCS is unfortunately it's very difficult to operate the anti-tank missiles while still flying the helicopter at the same time. Obviously if you're in an online situation and you have kind of a buddy you can operate the hot missiles, it's pretty easy to do, but when you're trying to do it by yourself, especially when people are shooting back at you, it gets kind of difficult, kind of quick, and I don't blame people for that frustration. I kind of wish there was just a little bit better AI as far as engagement automatically. But anyway, that being said, uh, the scenario we have here is uh, we're sitting over here in uh, beautiful Normandy, France, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous place if you've never been before. And basically, we're going to be trying to engage a truck convoy that is somewhere in this area. We're going to be using a different version of the Gazelle than you have over there in DCS because of the limitations of what weapons that we can carry. Originally, when I did this mission, I actually did it with a hot missile, and um, I kept getting shot down, basically. And my teammates were being absolutely worthless, basically, flying in circles, crashing into things. So it wasn't very much fun, and didn't make for a very interesting video. So I actually came back, and I re built it using the rockets and the cannon against trucks as opposed to the hot missiles against tanks. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's grab ourselves a big group of gazelles here. We're going to launch them as a group. I pretend these are the regular gazelles, not the British Army gazelles. Fast forward time, pause. So we've gone ahead and gotten ourselves up in the air. Now remember the gazelle has a very, very good flare system on board and it does a really, really good job of spotting enemy units. In the real world, of course, in the DCS, which we're going to be facing in just a minute, we're not going to be able to see very far because this is going to be all buildings and all trees. So we're really going to be relying on the scout capabilities of these helicopters in order to locate and engage those enemy trucks. Okay, I'm going to go kind of cinnamon. Good old-fashioned ladder pattern here. Get a little bit of altitude. I don't think we need to go that high. I'd rather stay about 100 feet above ground level, to be honest. Because I'm going to be keeping this helicopter relatively low also. So anyway, off we go. So the Gazelle helicopter, as far as the DCS stable goes, it is a sensitive helicopter, and some people have a lot of trouble controlling it. I personally find it just, it's incredible. It reminds me a lot of the actual helicopter flying that I've done in the real world. My teeny, teeny, tiny little of effort, you know, flying a Robinson R-22, which is just, it's so sensitive. But at the same time, this is very, very, very controllable, which is something I really, really, really like about it. So anyway, our helicopters are out and about, kind of keeping an eye on, see if they can find, oh, pause. We got them. So we've immediately spotted some enemy units. I'm going to go ahead and order these guys to go ahead and engage. Slow time down immediately. And let's let the gazelles do what the gazelles do best. Now in DCS, the uh, pilot's going to be responsible for flying and shooting. So I'm sure that's going to be very interesting for us. This is going to be an excellent candidate. I thought I asked you guys to attack. This is going to be an excellent candidate for VR also because of how much easier just to operate the helicopter when you can kind of move your head around. We could use track IR also, but it's just, I don't know, it's more fun of VR. All right, they're going nice and wide and being extra useless, although it really looks like this helicopter here on the end is the one who's going to be doing the deed in a second. So they're probably giving themselves a little bit more minimum wage, wage minimum wage, minimum range before actually engaging. Uh, you guys going to do your attacky thing, or are you just going to keep doing circles? I'm not sure what these guys are thinking. Oh, there we go. No, he aborted his attack also. Interesting. Let's go double check the WRA. Interesting. There's nothing saying that you can't specifically attack. Weird. What if we decide to attack target is up more than this age? That's fine. Doesn't make for a very exciting video, however. Go ahead and call these guys back. I'm not 100% sure what seems to be the trouble here. There we go. Now they're doing the deed. Slow down time a little bit. So we got some rockets away. Hmm. So the rockets, those particular 65 millimeter rockets are some of the best air to ground rockets I have ever experienced. They're so easy to use. We're also gonna have the benefit of the 20 millimeter cannon to help us out a little bit. Come some more rockets, here comes some more rockets. 
denting the place up pretty good. I don't know that we really did any damage. Like, yeah, we're out of rockets. That's it. Okay. Well, that's that for that part. Again, keep in mind, we'll have a cannon at our disposal. So we fired 48 rockets, and we got one truck. I think we're going to do better in DCS. All right, here we are over in DCS, ready to go. Let's go ahead and click the fly button. I'm actually going to turn the volume down for me just a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Oh, you can see our buddy gazelles are taking off. We have our nice setup here. Big old 20 millimeter cannon. We have some rockets hanging out of that side as well. We're going to go ahead and start by doing the master arm switch. We're going to come down here. We're going to turn on the power system. We're going to go flip up our two arming switches as well. If we turn both of these on, we're going to get the cannon. If we turn one of them on, let me shut that one off real quick, we are going to get the rockets. We're definitely going to open with the rockets. Let's put the pilot sight in the correct position here, and we are ready to go. I'm going to make sure this is turned on. I'm not going to use that just yet. Let's go ahead and do it to it. So, whoa, you guys are getting a little close. All right, fine. Run me down, why don't you? Go ahead and get going. Fly sideways for just a second to get underneath them. All right, that should do it. Okay, now this sight is literally in... It's like one of these situations, but it's in my right eye. Okay, so we know there's a group of enemy trucks out there somewhere. Let's go ahead and pull my formation together here. Flight, uh, go formation. Let's go ahead and do some uh, sprite formation. And we will be on our way. Alright, we're looking for a group of enemy trucks. So just a teeny tiny bit of trim. I'm actually going to switch seats real fast. Flip on the camera. There we go. Because you never know, every once in a while you get a good view of something. Pull the nose up just a little bit. I can slow down. It's very difficult to fly in camera at the same time. We're going to be okay with it. We could, of course, use the... Oh, I see them straight ahead. Getting a little, little bit of buffing in here. Oh, I see you guys. Switch back to the pilot seat for a second. I see him. Let's do it. Flight engaged. Ground Probably don't need the camera on anymore. We're going to be fine just the way we are. I just lost them. Oh, I had them for a second there. They're there. Hello, hello, my pretties. I think we're actually in rain. Oop, that was a little high. And one of the problems with the rockets in this thing is you don't get to carry very many of them. Alright, let's switch over to the cannon. And let's let them have it. Switch over to this guy right here. But he's feeling pretty lucky. And not anymore. Gonna go ahead and zip by these guys. Eh, that wasn't smart, guys. You shouldn't have stopped moving. I'm actually gonna go move over to the uh, seat for just a second. I'm gonna shut the camera off. Flip it to the storage position. I don't really feel right using it like that. All right. oh, I love this helicopter. Swing around again. Pull that nose up just a little bit. I think he is the next one. Let's get out of here. You can just imagine what these things are like in the real world. Let's see another couple. Hit and run, hit and run. I imagine in the real world, everybody in their AK-47 would be shooting at me at the moment. I don't blame them. Oh, there's one of my buddies. I like the little popping noise you get when you hit somebody. I'm just about out of ammunition. Yeah, I got 52 rounds left. Whoa, that was a little dangerous. What are you doing there, buddy? One of the things I just love about this helicopter is you don't have to do anything to the controls to make it go. Yeah, you're toast. I'm gonna show you. I got 31 left. A little to the right. Ah, it was close, but not quite. Oh, that got him. 
move down here. I really wish my teammates would help me out a little bit here, but I guess you'll have to do with what you have, right? I think I saw another one right there. Go ahead. A little bit of anti-torque and fire. Alright, I think we got just about all of them. Oh, a lot of the good stuff. Okay. So this is going to be one of the few times when I'm going to go ahead and kind of see the mission ending results, because I'm curious how many we got versus how many we got over there in command. All right, let's see what happened. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, hopefully you found that enlightening. Again, that went way, 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 way better than I did when I did the hot missiles. Enjoy.